Good morning, and how are you doing today? a beautiful quiet night's rest in this beautiful quiet neighborhood I am up I can see some blue sky and a little bit of cloud it's warm and I'm hungry so I've got to go and find some breakfast <laughs> walk around the corner from my hotel I have found a nice little guest house that allows visitors to come in and have breakfast and I picked this for two reasons one is the first place and they found that served breakfast <laughs> but also there's a huge gray cloud rolling in and it looks like it is going to throw down with rain which is why the area is so beautiful and green but that means I shall enjoy my breakfast and then decide what to do depending on the weather but I have all managed to organize my bike rental. So my motorbike will be dropped off later today so I can explore the area, go up to the mountains, the temples, down to the beach. Entry into the Tamansari or the water garden. It is for a foreigner, 15,000 for your ticket. Flush. You got a camera, you are like a professional camera rather than a phone camera. You have to pay an additional 3,000, then attach this so people can see it. And now let's go in and see what it's all about. Now at Tamansari Water Gardens. Now this is right next door to the Sultan's Palace in the middle of Yogyakarta and it's a, a beautiful example of Javanese architecture. Now it was built so the Sultan and his harem and his wife could come here and relax on the hot days and there is little pavilions, little nooks and crannies, two beautiful reflecting pools with water fountains in to chill around and I imagine if it wasn't for all the pe other people it would be a very peaceful place but I'm here at the weekend, it's a very popular place to visit it does get quite crowded um, I would recommend, the recommendation are to come early in the morning or you, actually sunset apparently is a very nice time here as well and it is quite busy and really hot but quite beautiful it is really lovely to look around the nice garden you can find a sort of quiet corner here and there um, and you're patient around the reflecting pool to get your photographs while people queue up to take their selfies also on the thing of cameras if you have a real camera not a phone that nowadays takes as good film and video as any camera you have to buy an additional permit it's only 3,000 rupiah but the whole thing of like because you can carry a real camera you pay extra for it whereas a phone nowadays Okay, I'm not going to get started on that. I'm going to focus on Taman Sari Water Garden, which is very beautiful. Let me get out of the sun and show you around this beautiful spot.
Good afternoon. Uh, I'd have a ticket for one and a photo permit. We are still in the middle of Yogyakarta or Jogja and next to the water, or beside the water palace and beside another square. This is Alun Alun something else square. I'm a little one must mean square or something, guard plate. Um, we are at the Sultan's Palace. And entrance for foreigners is 7,000 Indonesian rupiah. And for filming, another 2,000 rupiah. So I'll carefully attach my, uh, uh, my filming tag. So I've got that for me. There we go, filming tag, one ticket, let's go in and show you the Sultan's Palace. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. And we are inside the Sultan's Palace. It's very simple, very elegant, Japanese architecture isn't extravagant. There isn't a great deal in here to see, to be honest. There's a great big area in the middle which is shaded and has beautiful crosswinds so you can see it's a great place to keep cool on a hot day like this. Surrounded by uh, four buildings I think around the outside uh, which have been turned into museums, some with some photographs, and some with some uh, uh, bits of history in and explain a little bit about the, um, the Sultan's presence here. And that's it really, there's not really much in the way of gardens, that's why you have the water garden because from here you would escape to the water garden which you have a path throughout the back which we can't take just for the salt. Um, one strange thing about the place though is outside the buildings there's two cages with a chicken in each cage. I'm not exactly sure what that is about whether it's whether salt and like chickens or eggs or something but um, just one chicken in one nice big cage sitting outside and another one like guarding the gates or something. Anyway let me show you a bit more around the Sultan's Palace. We are in Anul Anul Kibul Square where there is these two beautiful banyan trees and the myth has it that if you can start at the edge of the square, you have to start at the edge of the square and walk in a straight line straight between those two trees while being blindfolded or not looking, no peeping allowed, you will be blessed with good fortune and blessings in the future and your wishes will all come true. And as you can see, it's quite a few people trying it out. However, a warning. It is said that if you peep, then you won't get good blessings, but you'll be haunted by supernatural spirits. So let's see if all my years of holding a camera, walking in a straight line, are gonna do me any good. While I make my way to the edge of the square here, you can hire blindfolds if you haven't got a scarf. I think they're about uh, 5,000 rupiah to hire, and then see if we can walk through the two trees. Here's a special one for you coffee lovers. He's looking at you, Peter McKinnon. Not quite in the centre of Yogyakarta, but a little bit on the outskirts, is this place called Clinic Coffee. Now, Indonesia is famous for its coffee. It's got the coffee that is in glued out through an animal and lots of wonderful, very aromatic coffee. It's worldwide famous. And of course, Java, Java coffee. We're in Java. So this place specialises in coffee in a rather unique way. So I'm hoping it's going to be open soon lots of people waiting for it to open but apparently you're not allowed sugar not allowed milk but they introduce you to the real taste of Indonesian coffee now all I'm gonna do is uh, see if they open and let me in
bad news. There's just a bit of post on Instagram. It is closed today. It's normally closed on Sunday. It's Saturday today. It's closed today. It's a bit of a one-man band. That's why it's so specialized. But nobody here. And just posted. Lots of disappointed people, but I'll have to come back and try that coffee. Sorry, Peter. You're just going to have to wait. It's evening time and welcome to Malioboro Street. Now this has become famous in Yogyakarta for its shopping. And on one side of the street is lined up with just ordinary shops, but stalls show it's uh, selling mainly clothes, but lots of other accessories and things as well. And it's a bargain hunter's paradise where you can go and hunt out dresses, t-shirts, shorts, trousers, all sorts of things. And in the evening it really comes to life. Because that's on that side of the street. On this side of the street, all these stalls set up in the evening and do food like this here. Your fresh food there. Oops. Sorry about that. And then you've got these little places where you sit down, they just set up in the evening, sit down and eat the food you've ordered and as you can see it is very popular you eat the food right guys <laughs> so you just go to what's looking at the end decide what you like to eat and drink sit down you take your shoes off sit down on the mat and eat while life passes you by between shopping sprees let me show you a few of these nice restaurants. Cafe. Yogyakarta in the evening amongst all these amazingly beautifully lit up pedal cars that you can rent for 120,000 rupiah Indian Indian rupiah for a lap of here there's little mini beetles mini buses a bit quiet um, this is Alun Alun, some begin with K square. And it really comes to even like there is restaurants all around the outside of the square which serve you for sitting either on the tables on this side or on the grass with tables all set out on this side. While around you goes this amazing spectacle. I'll just catch up to a few of them here so you can see them. Of these beautiful LED illuminated pedal cars. So you can pedal around with your family and friends around the square. Some of them have music. Oh. And this apparently happens every evening. I think though, I've come at the weekend when I think it's a little bit busier, but I'll check it out during the week and let you know if it is. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Jogja in the evening. 